Yo everybody, how we doing? We're gonna continue on with the 3v3 solo queue <laughs> series with no mechanics. We're playing them free div two. Now here's the deal. I actually got up to div three. And then I realized it wasn't actually recording. I've been having a lot of problems with my PC lately, and I think it's because of Shadow Play. So we've gone back to OBS. I've had to reinstall Rocket League. So um, we're back down to Div 4. I uh, had two friends quickly come on and help me lose two games there so that we can continue on with the series. And we did well. I mean, we lost one game, and I think we won three in the last episode, which isn't with us. But we will see if we can do maybe even better this time around. And again, it's doing nothing. We're not doing anything driving around single jumps and that is basically it i'm allowed to dodge to walk back towards net but i'm not gonna try smashing shots on just yet you know that's something we can do later on so here we go into game number one let's see how we get on we are with cassius gg and bullfrog bait I better get to the middle while I'm doing this. <laughs> I was casually reading in the corner where I can't defend. And we're going to no cap, no ball. And path 29 and Jukal Sinki. All right, nice. The pinch coming in. We're waiting in this position here. Teammate might be able to score that. And we're just going to fake and go straight back. And I'm here and I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Here comes the ball. Teammate goes. That's fine. And we're going to wait for this hit away. They might be able to reach this. But again, just they're going a bit too fast. We're just going to drop that ball down to get that low 50. If I would have carried it on the car and they dunked me there, that would have been a goal. So I've got to be careful. Onto the back ball to go. Single jump. If this was real, you would do like a flip off that. Probably a side flip smashing it with the corner. Or a soft tap into an edge ball. Staying central. Using these middle pads to stay topped up. Doing a, a bit of fake in there. Maybe I might look for a demo. And I grab this boost. I turn straight out. And you know what? I might go for another one. Missed it. <laughs> Missed them both. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool though. They wouldn't have expected that, but they did actually. They both dodged it. Grab, grab, grab. Grab, grab. Grab the middle. And now control the mid boost. Control the game. And boom. That was a bad van shot. Didn't hit it right on the bounce. Bam. Demo. And we're going to head out here as well. I was looking for a demo. We see how I'm, every time I'm rotating... I'm thinking, where can I rotate away from the ball? We're here. Oh, that's a shame. So do you see they just hit it away? There's not actually a hit on target. So this is quite a common thing people do. Is they're so desperate to hit the ball, they'll just sort of hit it towards the walls. And it doesn't really give you that much hitting it towards the walls. This is where a lot of people struggle. Um, and if you look at teams who are really good, for example, say BDS. When they hit it, they don't just smack it to the walls. They, they're using it to get the ball into a place where they can hit it onto the backboard. We're going to look for a demo there. Didn't get anything, but there should be an open there. We're going to look for the last man demo. We'll grab that while we can. We go straight back. So yeah, don't just hit the ball away for hitting the ball away. If you're going to smack the ball, try and yeah, do something like that. Smack it into an awkward position for everyone or ideally off the backboard. There's no one in net. I've just done a full rotation from the net back into the net. So sometimes you'll have to do that because people will, will not, will just be more concerned with their big boosts um, then they're defending. This is a great setup, but then they've touched it. So I just carry on and they've gone again. This Cassius person is literally just leaving. And oh dear me. They've left what they're meant to be defending. And then Bullfrog Bay just came straight at the ball. So now we couldn't get rid of it. And there's an opportunity. So we use this hit to get to the backboard. And then we've got the opportunity. See, this is what makes it easy. That's what makes the game easy. Look, where do I hit it? Do I hit it? No. I mean, if I'm hitting the ball, I'm going to go to the backboard. Why would I smack it up the corners? It takes too long. There's no element of surprise there. But if I smack it off your backboard and you're grounded, you're screwed. There's no way you're saving that. So do that. If you are hitting the ball onto the walls heavily, something's wrong at this rank, at least. Because, look, that's, that's pointless. You see how they've hit the ball against it and they've hit it back. So there's nothing to be gained there. Like, if we're going to hit the ball against the wall, we need to be able to at least try and follow it or to get the ball back. we just got to be careful. We're just getting rammed off the ball by Cassius here. He came in the front post. We've been rammed off the ball quite a few times here by Cassius. So just a little bit off. And then I'm going to come here because they're probably going to clear it off the wall. And I've been bumped again by Cassius. But they've done a good job at putting the ball into a good position for us. But we can't take it. So we're just going to fake and grab that boost. In real, would you do maybe an air roll shot? Possibly. But if your mechanics aren't there, what's the point? Well, let Cassius go. Here comes a shot back. 
Now that's good from uh, from no cap noble. So this is where the game becomes right. To hit off the backboard, no cap noble's actually got to hook into the ball. They've got to come around the ball and hook into it. Now by doing that, they now have an opening of where our, our team can challenge and it will go straight to net. So that's something you've got to consider. You've got to get that movement done fast or that's where advanced mechanics come in and you actually do want to go up the walls. I'm just going to hit that away and then look for your air dribbles and stuff. So what did I do there? Hold on. I'm just going to hit that into the middle on a follow-up. Maybe a double jump shot was there. I realized I actually sent it out with a power hit. But yeah, what I do there is I go back and I'm coming up with the ball. I'm going to try and get in line with it. And then I come as I fall off. This is really important. We might get scored on here while I demonstrate. Never mind. So as I fall off here, if I'm, if I'm not going to fall off, and this comes with practice, if I'm here, I will jump and then flip out into it. But be real careful that you don't jump with a direction as you, your front wheels come off because you'll do that. So in that situation, you actually want to fall off as you come down, you want to fall off the wall, and then you can flip. And sometimes that'll actually help you. So you're just going to hit that to the side there. And again, now I'm here. Single jump. And I, I, you know, I'm trying to hit it with the corners of my car. Anything on that side to take it away. And then when I go onto the net there, onto the backboard, GG well played. I double, you see how I double jump real quick? That gets me down. So stay facing upside down and just double jump down. A weird bit of toxicity there from uh, Cassius to Smashius, smashing us out of the play. Hey, you know what they say about the ones who talk the most. Here we go. We have got Cludwine and Dear Stinked. All right, this is all yours. Yes, it is. And we're just going to give that a little tap there. And we come to the back post. And I might wait here. And here's an opportunity. Bad van shot. But it's going to allow us. And this is what you also want to think about. When you do these kind of shots. Can I follow it up? And if if you can go for it. Yeah, sure. But can I get to the boost before anyone else? I've took that corner boost. Which means he's got 10 seconds. We've seen it spawn there. So we know that they're not really going to create too much with this. There we go. Nice take from the teammate. We're actually going to be able to beat this person on speed. Something you want to watch for. And then there's a 50. And it's a single jump 50. And as I single jumped into that. I turned my nose because I knew I was losing. So as I lost that one, I turned. And that helps lengthen my hitbox. If you look at it, let me get away from the, the player second. So if I'm here, and this is the ball, and I do a 50, and I think I'm losing it to the left, I can just turn my car. And now I get a little bit more to that side, but also a bit more of a cushion. So I'm more likely to get an extra second hit. And then usually what that'll do is it'll deflect to your teammates. So you can actually use their 50s. We'll try and show you with this. I'll try and deflect it across uh, to the other side if I can shortly to our advantage now again aerial ball which means everyone's looking at the ball it's one of the advantages at this game mode at this rank is everyone looks at the ball so if their ball goes up in the air first thing i'm doing is not can i shoot it or anything like that it's where can i get some boost before anyone notices oh this is an opportunity it's over to the teammate unlucky unlucky but sometimes it's good to thread those passes in those team chemistry but they're boost starved now i've just boost starved them really heavily and you'll see what I did, by the way, to make that save earlier. We'll leave that. As I did a single jump. So that's something else you can do. Is if you time it right, you can just single jump. And you've got to be real careful. Because I actually did that single jump as I fell off the net. So to do that, you've got to make sure you let go of everything on the joystick. So that even if you fall off the net, you can still do your single jump. Something to consider. This is dangerous. We're going to have to come forward and flip. I'm going to grab this. Fake. Come down. Single jump. Doesn't matter. They're going to go for it. I'm going to come around the back. We're not in any danger, though. This appears to a lot of people. They go, oh, my God, we're under danger. No, we're not under any danger. As long as we're blocking shooting angles, we are literally under no danger. That's a brilliant passing play. Okay, looking for a demo there or something, I feel. I'm a bit uh, caught up there. Teammate sort of rotated into me. And I'm going to go around the back and look for a face out. Boom. We're just going to tap it with a single jump to our teammate. And then I'm going to rotate. Boom. Because the ball's switched. I'm already on the side so I can face out to defend to. So I've always got this defensive positioning, which makes it boom. There's a fake. Should have probably gone for that because I've, I've got no control. And I can flip and I can grab this boost. Why not stay topped up? Nice shot from the teammate. Oh. Okay. We're going to take control of it. Here they come. Boom. Single jump means I win the 50. It works to our favor. Teammates can follow. Unfortunately, they double committed on the follow, but that's okay. The ball's going to come to me. Okay. That's fair enough. Try and tap it around. Shame they took that because um, oh, if they didn't, we could have definitely put that on target or onto the backboard, which generally equals a goal, even with single jumps. 
We're not, you know, dodging into stuff. We're just single jumping it onto the backboard. And it's still enough to get the, the wins. Hard to control a ball like that. So we can so we can put it onto the backboard. You see how our teammates have just basically done what's known as a crab trap. Where, you know, like a, a crab's pincers come from either side. That's essentially what our teammate did. Our, our one teammate was pushing into us this way. Our other teammate came back the other way. And that, now we can't move. We were basically locked into position. Couldn't get anything going. So again, how do we deal with that? Well, we just don't hit the ball. Because if we hit the ball, we can only push it towards our opponent. Sometimes we're just going to have to let our teammates take it. Uh, and dispossess us. Which is something you're going to see a lot. A lot of dispossessions. It's a good little backflip. And we'll wait here. There's a fake. There's a single jump, which means we don't lose the 50. And it goes to our teammates. So there we saw another one where we used their 50 to put it towards our teammate. Hopefully our teammates got that good position in there for the defensive play. And I've just realized we haven't actually got any shots on yet. So we will try and get a goal real quick. There we go. Boom. No, almost. We're just going to turn here. I'm going to fake that. Now, if we can get control of the ball for just a split second, we should be okay. Here we go. Oops, a daisy. There we go. This is a perfect opportunity. Teammate hits it away. That's a shame. Um, and again, a lot of it's just from doing too much. You don't have to do that much to score goals. The slower, usually... Like, if you just think about what you're doing, you're going to be all right. Because it'll slow you down. Oh. And you'll, you'll be able to get something done. So what happened there? I went for the shot. Teammate came across and um, took a bit of an inadvised shot there. Or attempt, I should say. So that forced us back. And here we go. Well, that's a really good idea. You know, they were, they were going for like a soft touch into a power shot. Which was a really good idea there. And this could be a goal now. If our teammate wins the race, we can grab the mid boost. And this, this is lining up nicely. There's a single jump. Didn't get any lift on it. Put it on target, though, at least. Great bump from there. So I air roll. And as I land, I'm going to wave dash. Maybe musty or whatever you can do. Oh, I've come out of net. Always dangerous. Trying to go for an offense, but you just see how dangerous it is sometimes. Just because everyone's so scared in net. Stop being scared in net. You know where it's going, don't you? You know where the ball's going if you're in net. It's going to come to you. Because they're going to try and score. Going to bump their... Uh, their play around that should be the goal unlucky so it's always it's not really risky to do that i mean that that's something you should be looking to do center and destroy i'm gonna have to get out of there because i just realized we're committing together there's a slow way back here for cludwin and this is the thing this deceit is just spending a lot of time trying to do these little jump these things here on the way back which is slowing the rotation of the game down and that might be a shot on target thank god they were there we're going to go to the back post, wait for them to come around. Oh, they've cut in. So we don't get to go to the front post, but because we automatically went to our position, we've got to be real careful here. There's a double commit. Just going to wait. This is an opportunity. Never mind. They just blasted away. And this is what a lot of it is. When do we get our opportunity? There we go. Onto the backboard. Look how everyone's struggling. And it almost becomes a goal. The stick nearly gets it. Just from one single jump onto the backboard. Because we're actually waiting and taking a good angle. Bad touch from me there. Real bad touch there. But again, everyone goes up. And they're going to carry on staying with it. They didn't need to. You know, if you fail like that. Here's, here's a learning thing for you. Oh, that's good. If you fail on those kind of hits. Just nice shot. Just rotate. So if you've done something and you, you can't, you, you know. Instead of sticking to the ball, just rotate. Good little... Um, if there, but again, what happened? What was the play that scored the goal? GG, well played. A simple single jump onto the backboard. That's all you've got to do. I'm not looking for any clever angles. I'm just going to do a single jump onto the backboard and it's going to deflect, boom, into the middle. Unfortunately, I'm not teaming up, brother, but GG, well played. So always think of this. Instead of just smashing up the walls and, and looking for that and, and being obvious and lowering your... Just hit the backboard hammer their backboard it's one of the most fundamental strategies it's been around since forever and the reason it still works to this day bds like i say are amazing it's because it works hit the backboard it makes people really scared there's no team this time gabby nero so again we're here because they're in an awkward spot now we could take that but I'm going to go back here. So I was looking for... Because I can only single jump. you got to remember, this is a challenge. We've got to have a little bit of a challenge. That's off. Okay, we're going to back off because our teammate's pushing forward. Oh, this is an awkward ball here. We're going to back off again. Nice try on the shot there. They tried to slice it in. See the confusion? See the turn on the ball? A lot of confusion. 
Here we go. We're going to grab these pads here as we push forward. Bump. Nice bumps and demos. Don't take that because I'm right by it, but they do. Um, not bad. You know, they try to center it up. But again, a center is very obvious and predictable. People can read that stuff now, can't they? You can all read center balls at this rank. So, but what do you struggle with? Direct shots off the backboard. So if they would have left it, I could have took it infield and looked for something like that. There's a lot of confusion there. Now, they're going to look for a demo of this person by me, so I'm going to take the mid boost. Here's my opportunity. Good speed there. Same thing went low. If they just drive into that, it's probably a goal because, uh, one, if they don't hit it too hard, it's going to be a high shot. And if they do hit it too hard, I'm going to have the follow off of the backboard. Both team go. Boom. There's a single jump van shot. Look for a demo, and I go straight here. And then I go straight here. You're probably thinking, oh, my God, this guy's so greedy. Yes. Let's get the demo. Let's take him out of the game. Now, they said thanks. I know I'm in their head. And there is off the backboard. Single jump trying to put it behind the player because they were moving forward. It's always harder to stop and go backwards. Even though it seems like a simple mechanic when you're under pressure and you got to do it. Not as easy. Ball comes to the side. I go to that side, but I purposely want my teammate to cut across. I like go in front of me because they should be in that situation. They didn't cut me up or anything. That is the correct rotation from them. Ball comes back. I'm actually going to go wide here because I saw that teammate of theirs going in. There's a fake. Now we do a soft touch. There's another fake. Now we steal the boost. There's a bump on the last man. And this is an opportunity. We're going to grab this. This is a good pass. Bump. Single jump. Couldn't get it on target. It was going a bit too quick. Look for a demo. Maybe another one. And we're just going to head out. Just going to head out. It's always nice to get a demo. And that Katala person from earlier is going to be a little bit annoyed. Boom. There's a tap. There's a single. So, okay, right there. I tapped it down by accident. I wanted to do a jab shot. And I tap it down. So what do I do? Well, in that situation, what you do is you go for a low 50 after the jab. So you jab it and then instantly go for a low 50. Uh, and you'll win most of the time. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now look how much awkward. That's so awkward for them. Simple move onto the middle of the backboard. Everyone can do aerials, but all of a sudden, it's it's like, oh, I can't do that kind of aerial. Well, maybe look for a pass. And I still from the teammate. We're just going to fake it out. Oh, that's great. So we can turn here. And we can just, bump, hit that off the backboard. Take this boost. They are boost off, but no one's pushing up with us there. It's a shame. Because we can really start to cause some damage now with this boost starvation. There's a high shot. And there is the finish. All from boost starvation. And no mechanics. So once you know, this is what I'm looking So I'm not looking at the ball or anything. Right, here's what I'm taking in. Where is everybody in sort of chunk wise? And what boost have I taken? And what boost do they have? Ah, they don't have any boost. Okay, now I know I can be aggressive. Okay, at this rank. Because at this rank, people aren't going to be able to shoot shots on target with low boost. So you can be more aggressive. So th there's all these little things you've got to look at. Nice goal. There you go. So just keep that in mind. Know what boost you're taking. Know who's got what boost. Try and figure out what boost situations everyone got. And then you can exploit that, you see. You can stay closer. And if they've got no boost, your team should be finishing real soon. So that's something you've got to consider. If you know you've boost starved them, like there's a boost starve. So I know this person's got low boost. So you know their, their shot's going to be weak. Look, you can see. Look, we'll watch them. Look, they're struggling. They want some boost. Now they've got some boost. They're still super long, but there's no danger here. See how they can't take a shot? There's no danger. And they're going to use that boost to get the big boost. That's their goal here. It's not to create plays. It's not to play with the positions and the ball. It's to, how can I use this boost? Be close enough to grab and to use that boost to get another big boost. That's how they're thinking. Now we go boom. And boom. Boom. Okay. And we grab this boost. Now, look, this is high. So we go onto the backboard. On the rotation, it's a terrible touch from me. Now, normally, you would, of course, jump and smash that with a flip. And obviously, once we get to diamond, we're going to be able to really start to uncoil. And here, boom, van shot. Oh, onto the backboard. Look at the panic. No one can deal with it. Boom, single jump shot. Obviously, if we were playing for real, you'd go up much earlier than that. Because you've got the best advantage. You know where that ball's bouncing. Because you can do that in free play. So you can practice that. You can get those reads. How are they going to stop you? Well, they're not going to be able to. And we just wait here. And look, this could be an own goal even. They might even be able to finish that. There you go. Look at the pressure. And it's not because our team's doing a good job pressure. Look at the positioning. No one 
is in the correct position there. You've got a player facing out shallow. You've got another player facing towards our other corner. They're both like sort of in a weird position. There's, there's no possible way to defend unless the ball goes straight out. That's the big mistake. You only need one player to go, oh, hold on a second, boom. Or to go, oh, this looks dangerous. Maybe I go here, boom. Or maybe if I'm here, I go here. Oops, sorry. You know what I mean? Like you only need one player to do that and you're okay. So that was just me messing around. That's why that went in. Um, <laughs> obviously, I was just showing you the position. But you only need one player to go in that position. And you're okay. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of the toxicity there from the teammates. Which is uh, its always funny. <laughs> you see a lot of it then at this rank. <laughs> I mean, do you do a nice shot there? Do you give him a nice shot? Oh, you got to give him a water save. GG, well played. <laughs> <laughs> he cuts both way, brother. Don't give it out if you can't take it. So there is another W. I don't know what rank. I haven't even been checking the, 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 the ranks here. What rank are we? Quickly. Quickly before we go into another game. Yes, we are diamond. Uh, no, we're not. We're platinum free. Division four. So far, no dodges. Oof. We love to see it. Can we get up to diamond today? Oh, today. Let's do it. Well, he's actually been pretty successful today. We haven't had very many toxic teammates. We're going from one side to the other, and we get to save. That's the beauty of it. Isn't that simple? I'm just here, and I'm waiting. And I just go from one side to the other. And now, okay, the ball goes behind me like this. I can reverse, and I can fake it. And now I go back towards the net, and that's what's usually going to happen. We fake it again. And now our teammate take it. But you see how they're very almost scared, and they start jumping and diving. What do we do? We come back towards the net. Why? I'm just going to backflip that. Because that's where the ball goes. And that's the real way to defend that, by the way, guys. Um, you do a backflip or a half flip. And then you would follow that up if you were playing uh, more mechanically. But just a backflip's fine for now. In the future, you want to do a half flip. I'm, I'm in a real bad spot here because um, I just got faked. But we're going to hit it. The angle their car was coming was actually going to hit it to the left of me. But anyway, now I can go deeper. Sometimes I'll go deeper. Now, look, if he wasn't there and that was shot on target, I've got the save. Look, it's a high ball. What do we do? You know what we do now. We go to the backboard and we come down as a blocker. If they hit it, we are there. We are blocking their angle. Now I touch the ball. Single jump. That way I don't let it through me. And the reason I didn't get a very successful 50 there is because I was actually too far next to the ball, too close to the ball. So uh, we had very equal and boom, man shot off the backboard. I'm going to turn here, look for the boost. It's gone. They've took that boost. We're going to try and hit them. Never mind. And I'm just going to grab this great center ball here. But then that follows are necessary. That's the, that's the issue. It's the bad angle follows that you don't always need to do. Now, what we can do is we can flake this and boom, as they come in off the backboard. There's a single jump. You see how easy it is? So they're telling you, go for it, go for it. They tell you to rush. You say, no, I don't need to rush. I want them to come forward. Now they've come forward. Now I use a van shot into a van shot. Now you'll see I'm doubling up van shots. Okay. But it's the same move. I'm just doubling up and timing it. So that's what you got to practice. Just get consistent at the basics. There's a van shot. So that's what you got to think. Actually, I will turn to normal and we'll flip over to this or single jump. So that's what you got to think there, guys. Again, why did that goal go in? It's because I hit it semi hard, somewhat hard off the backboard. Anytime I get a bounce off the backboard, it is a big advantage for me. Now I stop here because I can move from one side to the other. Teammate goes. And you saw that teammate was a bit um, a bit crazy a minute ago, but that's fine. So here, I can boost to boost. And now look, when the ball comes down, we've been practicing how to catch the ball, haven't we? Okay, I don't want to take a 50 there. I don't want to take a 50. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relax and let them hit the ball to my teammates. If I take a 50 there, it could pinch to my net. And I don't want to do that. Unless I single jump, then I'm okay. Boom, we fake, okay. That's a pointless hit again. So now we come onto the backboard here and we're going to do the backflip. We would have saved it as well, but our teammate took it. But you just see, we just push this forward. There's a single jump. Just preventing the ball going too far behind. But you see when my teammate came in and just smacked that away, how difficult it makes things. There's a van shot into the air really high. We sliced that van shot. And uh, I'm actually playing... <laughs> I'm playing with an old controller. So these, when I do these single jumps, I'm actually meant to be dodging, believe it or not. But the, uh, the A button is a bit broken. So we jumped there because it could have been dangerous. I've just... Look... Okay, they've hit the ball away from themselves. And then look at the boost they've had to use to catch it up. If they would have gone more to the side where they weren't... Okay, well, now we can follow it and keep our boost. And now we can use that boost for something useful. Here comes the ball. Is it on? Well, I can tell you, being a bit, you know, playing this game for a while, it's not on. 
Boom. There's a meant to be a van shot, but I flip through it. But it doesn't matter. Because I, I, I know what's dangerous and what's not. And therefore, I'm acting appropriately. I'm going to get out of the way of my teammate. Some could say, bit of a bad rotation. And it was. It was a bit of a bad rotation. I should have jumped or gone a bit higher. But that's caused an own goal. What what caused the own goal here? Let's, let's analyze it. Well, we know that they've got no boost, Muggy. Because we just took that boost. New also hasn't got any boost. We touch it into the middle. Muggy's still with no boost. Panicking. Because we stole that boost. All we got to do is create some sense of panic. People need hundreds of boost. Right, we took Muggy's boost in the corner. We now know we should be due a goal because we've boost starved him. So anytime we boost off, like I say, it is almost certain that we're going to have some pressure and we should also, therefore, get a goal off the pressure if we're playing correctly. Oh, that was close. Struggled to flip again. I don't know what it is with this control. Okay, do we have to rush to this? No. Teammate does so. Why don't we go on to the backboard? Single jump. Now, I want you to see this one real closely. Um, if you didn't see it, just quickly rewind. What I did is I came here and I didn't just single jump. Whoa, there was one little thing that I did that was different. I held single jump. Yes, you can do that off walls. Now, look at this. If I come up onto this backboard, and let's just get in, in line with the net here, and I do a single jump. Okay, right now, look at this. If I get in line with the backboard, uh, which is here, and as I fall, ready? Now, look how much further I go out. That's a great save. So, in that situation... I wanted to single jump. Yes, I did. But I realized, I was like, ooh, you know what? That ball, it's a little bit further away. I don't know if I'm going to... Don't worry. We can do a hold single jump. So you hold it instead because it makes it harder. We're just going to grab these pads. Oh, I trusted them to hit it. Now, I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a bad spot myself, but we're just going to get a pinch right there. So you can do that and you can use that move off walls and all sorts. Because if this was real and we single jump off it and boom, now we can flip it as well. So we can delay, dodge underneath it. How crazy is that? You can do it off walls, you can do it off ceilings. It's a really good move. GG, well played. So think about that when you're defending the backboard. Do I need to single jump or do I need to hold single jump? Now we've got a different game, okay? All right, we are getting close to diamond here. Uh, I don't want to, you know, push my luck, but we're undefeated so far today. Seems uh, like quite a while ago since we last lost, actually. Don't want to get carried away, but the lot of it is because we are just defending. And that ability to defend comes from being relaxed and thinking about where is everyone? What kind of boost am I looking at? Where is the danger? Right, we can... Oh, bad from me, but that's fine because they follow. I'm just going to keep reversing it. And now, there it is. Boom. Good job from them. Now I've got Supersonic. Go for the demo. Get the boost if you can. They outplayed me twice. They're very good at play from this team. Grab pad, grab pad. But now do I rush? Now I'm just going to double jump and tap it to the side of that one player just to give her team... A little bit of breathing room. And that breathing room can be used to grab an extra pad. And so on and so forth. Great defending at the front post. Now I go zip, zip. And I'm here. Now I start pushing out. Now Jeff Harris is going to hit it into the middle. We can follow that up. I do shoot by accident. I, I couldn't catch the ball up. So I had to shoot to try and get it on target. My bad everybody. I know that's a little bit mechanical. Probably should have just single jump. I'm here. And that's fine. Like it's safe. I don't always have to hit it on there. If that was real I would have just side flipped and smashed it away. Just for safety. This is good stuff. Jeff Harris is doing a good job of putting the pressure on. Great little van shot. And boom, now we put a van shot on. And there's a goal. Great pass from Jeff Harris here. He saw that I was too far back and he cut the ball. Very good. And now it creates a bouncing ball. I do a single jump, van shot. And it's going to be hard to save because I'm altering the flight path. Uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. We'll do a normal kickoff here. So we're going to front flip. We're going to take this kick off a little bit more seriously. And we're going to side flip there. On a hook, we went for a hook that time and we won it. So next time I take the kickoff, I will also do a hook. And I'll probably do it even a little bit more exaggerated because it won that time. And boom, we're going to do a single jump here. And now I'm going to look for a demo. Okay, I didn't get either, but it opens it up. There you go. Nice shot. So just the act of going for a demo, once the ball's central, now I, I don't care about the ball anymore because I've done my job. What can I do? I'm looking for boost steals. I'm looking for demos. By merely going up to a player with a demo attempt, it's going to freeze them in spot. They're going to lose their position, and then we're going to be able to follow it up. These are these things are really important, guys. These little things. Get the ball high, right? Can I finish this? If not, where's the ball going? And in that case, are, is there any demo pads I should be aware of in these locations that I could steal and make their life hell? Well, there's one right here, so they're all going to come here. Now they've got no boost. I can single jump that away, and this should be an easy drive in. We're going to look for a demo as well. We don't get a demo, but why is that possible? 
Look what's happened. They've all come here. Now I know they've got no boost because I just took that one boost. So the last man who had the boost too far out the player. I don't know why I didn't get the damage, but that, that's what I'm saying. The, the simplicity of where is everyone? Okay, they're all bunched up. So we know there's going to be a spill ball any second because three people can't hit a ball on there. It's not possible. So what boost situation do they have? Not very good. Okay, sorry. You know, then we go for it. So we know now that Zyran has boost. So they're going to be able to make some saves and clears. So we're not looking to finish necessarily straight away here. We're looking to take our time. We're looking to try and starve them. We're looking to try and throw in fakes. And that's all we need. Nice shot from the ball shop. Look, we come here. I know it's only a 3v2, but this is the example. I know he's good. He's got boost. So I don't want it to be too explosive. So I'm just going to single jump. I'm just going to go into the space. And then we're going to get around them. And we're going to push forward. They're going to push forward too much. GG well played. And there's another win. So hopefully this is helping because I feel, you know, I came out, you know, pretty hardcore today. Like, right, we're just going to win every game because I want to show people how to do it. Um, so I added a few backflips onto the backboard, but most of it was just a van shot. Right, I'm going to play again, and now we're in diamond. And I think it's fair to assume that diamond now we can start shooting sh uh, power shots. So we're just going to play one game in diamond. Just to show you now that if we was now practicing in free play, we practice our power shots. Just how crazy it is if we are allowed to shoot. Not air roll shooting, we're just going to do normal shoots. Normal shots, I should say. Same plan, same positioning. We now know our van shots are good. We know our positioning, therefore, is good to be able to take advantage of that. So now, if we start adding dodges, we should be like unstoppable that's the idea behind this so again but we don't have to rush we come up right they're gonna go for the backboard boom i tap it down probably a little bit too bad there i thought my teammate would have been here generally you want your if you see your team on the backboard you want to be supporting them any way you can okay here's an opportunity we're gonna have to go up for that for the single jump a little bit tricky there i think that was my fault uh i got beaten to the ball here so i went up got beaten they hit it around me really nice stuff um, yeah, so it was probably my fault. Probably just got a bit eager. And of course, once it's past you, people are going to panic. So they're not going to have that defense. So let's do a normal kickoff here. We're going to front flip here. We're going to turn. We're going to do a hook. We've won again. Okay, next time I say, I'm going to do a hook again. I'm going to grab this boost. I'm going to get back into the positions I know that work. Okay, there's a lot of misses here. And you can see just how... Is there any difference here? You know, a lot of people are going, oh, I'd love to get the diamond. But is there any difference here from Platinum? Is there really any difference? Do, can you see any difference? I can't. So then there's not a difference. And we single jump straight away. We stop the ball coming back. we got to go here. Okay, we're just waiting. We're just waiting to take our shot. That's a great little play there. They've put it behind them. And then almost a goal. Right, we might have an opportunity here. It comes up the wall. Are they going to go? Boom, we're going to fake away then. I've missed the boost. But we know they're low on boost. Teammates, easy save. They've pushed it forward. It's going to be dangerous when you do that. You always want to save it to the side. Look for a demo. Don't get it. Okay, we'll look for another demo. There's the demo. Oh, and hold on. We've got a teammate out of this. Okay, no problem here. Teammate left the game. And their other teammates left the game. But you know what, guys? <laughs> yeah, it's time, baby. I am backing off. No way. These people leave. No, we don't leave. We stay. We're going to get them some MMR. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas to you. We're not losing. We're sticking to the fundamentals. I'm sticking to the basics. And we're going to win this. Boom. There's a shot. Right. Straight away, I'm going to make a beeline to this boost. Boom. Bam. Right. Okay. One of their players has low boost. I know these two have boost. So this person has no boost. I'm going to wait. They're going to overplay the ball. Here it is. Here's the overplaying of the ball. There's the pinch. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting. They want that boost. There's our first goal. Bada bing, bada boom. What did I do? Nothing. I did nothing. Look, I'm waiting. Look at the panic. They can't see anything because they're not looking. There's a miss. Now we shoot. Boom. There's a goal. Because I'm doing nothing. All right. We've only got to be careful on the kickoffs here. So I'm going to grab this boost. I'm going to grab this boost. We've got to be real careful. They've played it to us. Boom. There's a 50. I flip into it because I want to follow it. Now, I'm going to take this. Now, I know that they're low on boost. They're looking for a block, possibly. Nice try there. They might look for a demo or a bump. Yes, they do. Okay, we're going to hit it to the side. I didn't want to carry that. 
Yes, he's got away. He's got away. They're overplaying themselves again. Here's an opportunity for a shot. Now, what's the difference here? What's the difference? Well, the only difference is I'm adding a flip to my van shot. Look, it's exactly the same shot. Exactly the same shot. Now I add a flip. Now I get 108 miles, uh, kilometers an hour. They didn't touch it. 108 kilometers an hour from a front flip. Because people say, how do you get power into your shots? Learn how to van shot first and the power will come after. Learn how to van shot first and the power will come after. Because you'll be in the right position here. Ready? Boom. There's another shot. How does this shot work? Well, we see them coming from the net. So let's just take into account what's happened. They're in the middle of the net. They're coming out to us. So we now shoot it towards the left slightly. Not too much. If we hit it too soft, I might actually go for this one. Because if we hit that too softly and they hit it, we're going to lose the 50-50 because -50 we're going to be too wide on the hitbox. So we do want to have uh, a sort of best case scenario where, here we go. We're just going to put it behind them. There's a bump. Now I can grab the boost. Now they boost starved. There's going to be another fake here. I'm going to grab this boost. And I'm going to single jump. Boom. Wait for the demo. Boom. There we go. Hit it back. Boom. There's another one. And look for a van shot. That was good from them. They tripled up there. That might be going on. I don't think I'm going to make it back in time. Oh, I am. They went for the demo and they missed it off the target. I think I might be able to make this. Yes, I can. Whew. I'm in a bad spot, though. So we're going to tap that. And now I boost to the boost. Tap it over the top. Got to be real careful here. Put it to the side. Got to be real careful. Yep, nice shot. Nice shot. Couldn't get enough to the side there. Good little follow up there. It's just a little bit of a weak hit there. Should have side flipped. And there didn't really get a good connection. But this was a good back flip. I messed up quite a bit there. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. It's all about belief. All right, we're going to go for another hook kickoff. It worked earlier for us. Still works. Okay, we'll keep doing the hook then. Once that stops working, we'll then change it up. Here comes the shot from them. I know how to save this because it's what I've been doing before. Left to right. Now, we've got an opportunity. I'm going to shoot that. I, I jumped early there because they were right on the ball. This is the only problem you got when it's a, a 1v3. Is you're going to have a lot of people. Oh, like that. It's going to happen. A lot of face and a lot of accidental bumps. Good touch from them. This might be a goal. Oh, they've missed it. This is opportunity. So sometimes the, the misses can make it very difficult. We're just going to bounce shot that. Wait for it. Low 50. Okay, we've got to be careful here. Of course, once they start going for demos and bumps, you can see how much of a, a predicament we're in. Right, we're going to push up. I get to supersonic first. Now I'm here. Wait for it. Grab. They're going to look for another demo. Boom. Now this person's out of the game. I come here. Boom. I'm just going to shoot it over the top of all three of them. And look what I've done. I've put it onto their where. Their where. Their backboard. Now I can start uncoiling on them. Look, backboard. Fake. They give it away. Now they are at my mercy. I'm a one-man band. Then I'm going to fake. I'm going to fake that. Why? Because they led me into a good path here. Here, I'm going to just cut into it. And there we go. Side flip shot. Now I grab this boost. I'm starving them down. Cut back into it. Try and get it round them. That's a great 50 from them. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get back. Let's try again. Here we go. There we go. We get back in time. We grab this boost. Might try a 50. <laughs> I've landed badly again. But it's okay. We're going to grab this. Oh. Try to disconnect it for a second here. We're going to go because they're trying to play slow. Here comes a touch from them. Jab it to the side. Let them take it. I don't want to, you know, try and outdo a, a team of three here on speed necessarily too much. Um, because... You know, generally, three people it should be faster than you. We started with a two-goal deficit. I'm proud of myself, even if we lose this. Because we had a two-goal deficit. Um, and we've actually managed to get it within one. There's a good shot. I've missed. Oh, no, I've missed. I've missed. I've missed. Ah, oh, no, I missed. GG. Well played. Well, I wish I could have done a bit better for you guys there. Yeah, I completely misread that. I should have just took my time. But when you got free, you always think they're coming from everywhere. But again, hopefully that shows you, okay? It was all right. It was a good job. Well played. GG, well played. We did all we needed to do there. Well, we didn't actually. We lost. But hopefully that shows you something. You know, with one person just trying to play smart, you can almost... Well, technically we beat them. I'm going to say technically we did. Because I think we, uh, we scored three goals. And we started off 2-0 down. So actually, yeah, it would have been... Or that have been 3-2 or something like that. Something like that. I can't remember what the score was. But anyway, 
just there with no mechanics, no mechanics and no skill, we can take on three diamonds. Now, you just imagine if you'd have teammates that don't leave you and you play that back role, how effective that can be. Granted, there was a lot of mistakes I made. A lot of mistakes I made. I should have done uh, certain shots when I didn't. I should have played a little bit smarter. Of course, you know, I didn't want to use flicks. I feel if I had flicks there, I would have. that would have been a lot easier. But I don't want to use too many weapons. And you can just see that, well... You don't need as many weapons if you're semi-decent with just one weapon. You can still put up a fight. And it's all about that. It's all about being able to put up a fight. Well, we're going to start Low Diamond for the next episode, which is kind of nice. And I'm glad we got this little showcase, actually. So thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope this is helping. Guys, just stick to the basics. Stick to the van shots. That's all I'm going to tell you. Stick to the van shots and don't dive in. And you should be good. Thanks, everyone, for the support. I do appreciate it. Look after you. Have a good new year uh, if this is posted beforehand. I'm not sure when this is posted, but thank you so much, everybody. Look after yourself and peace out. Peace.